Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly episode and I've got a good one for you today. Um, actually, I got too much stuff to show in one video because I went to the Iola uh, swap meet and car show this last week and uh, picked up a few items there that are pretty awesome, but you're going to have to wait till next week before I show them because in the mail I got from Surplus Goodies the latest in the Barn Find series. And check these babies out. These are super cool. So this is, uh, uh, Surplus sent me a set to show you, which is awesome. And then I had to scoop an Ultra Red and look at that. So I got the chase. It is one of 84 pieces. Anyway, this is really cool. This is a third in the uh, From Towing It to Showing It Barn Find series from Surplus Goodies. And, you know, extra limited uh, Chevy trucks, Chevy square bodies, ever popular. And, of course, we're going to look at these in the next segment. I'm going to open them up. We're going to check it out, all the Barn Finds together, because as a set, they're actually super cool. So... Um, so I'm very thankful. He also sent me um, a pin. So this would be part of the bundle that you could have ordered was this right here. Now these are available on um, his website as well as his eBay, as well as you can hit him up on Instagram. You can hit him up on Facebook. I'll put links to all that stuff um, in the description. But uh, yeah, so I am of course stoked and i have the uh the chase car for all three of these releases so i've got a full set of these barn finds i don't know if he's going to do any more or not i'm not really sure if he's going to do any more this one is alabama i think what was the other ones uh georgia and mississippi i think that was it um but yeah that doesn't really matter but the the concept is super cool. You got, uh, you know, a rusty version, a restored version, and then the chases, which he's pretty much done something sort of different with each chase. And we'll and we'll take a look at that. We get to look at all these together. I'm super stoked for that. Uh, thanks again, Jimmy, for, you know, comping me these two and then giving me, you know, a sweet deal on this one. And then uh, just really awesome. Also in the box from Jimmy, I got another rusty square body here which is this guy right here. This is the, uh, what is it, Children's Toys Attic exclusive. Um, so we'll check that out as well. I don't have the chase for this one. These are limited to $24.96. I did inquire about purchasing a chase, but, uh, you know, 150 bucks or whatever is just a little too steep. I can't do it. Um, you know, it's just really hard. And I, I will say that it's really difficult to try to get all the chases of these square body uh pickups these exclusives they're just really really difficult i'm super fortunate to have the ones that i have and you know as an auto world completionist you know i get a little sad when i think i might not be able to actually get all the ones you know it's just but it's just too much money i can't just throw money in it like that i could spend money on that but then i wouldn't be able to buy anything else you know for the collection and i can't just completely dedicate you know, to just having a square body Chevy collection. But one of these days, I will go through all of them. We'll go, we'll take a look at all the ones I have. I'll let you know what uh, chases I'm missing. I think I pretty much have almost all the regulars. I think there's a new one from CS Customs. I didn't get either yet, but he wants 40 bucks, I think, for the, the set. And really, I just want the one truck from it. So it's gonna, that's a hard one to stomach. But uh, yeah, but these really really cool so i am happy all right so there's that we're going to definitely open up all those we're going to open up that ultra red um you know this is an expensive piece we're going to go ahead and crack that open all right so other mail <clears throat> that i got was from my buddy d's customs i posted this to my instagram i had mentioned in a video that i still don't have um a you know Datsun 510 wagon super and he you know sent me a custom of one so that's pretty cool he sent this is a custom that he did um and he did a really good job on it so we'll definitely take a peek at that of course in the uh next segment of the video um he sent it in a box of drywall screws screws and in there there was one left 
We'll put that to use. That'll get that'll get used. All right. So there's that. And then uh, um, what did I also get? I did find a couple of things at stores. I found the Matchbox Retro set or latest wave, I should say, uh, from Target. Uh, so I got the ones I wanted. There was um, one I two I did not pick up. I did not pick up the Express Delivery or the Wildfire Rescue Truck, which are these two right there. Those were there, but I did not grab them. Um, but I did grab the other ones that I would consider definitely more desirable, like the Lamborghini LMO2, uh, the van, <clears throat> the National Parks Jeep Cherokee, uh, the Datsun 510 Rally, and of course, of course, Firebird. So I'm stoked about this one. I like this casting a lot. Of course, I'm a Firebird fan. And uh, yeah, so had to snag on those. I ended up getting like five or six of those Firebirds. Why? I don't know. Just to pile up and then eventually get rid of them. I don't know. Got a problem. All right. And then we got a couple mini GT. Uh, we got a Bentley Continental GT in St. James Red. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this latest wave of Mini GT, there's some cool ones, but uh, I only went for two of them. And then this Land Rover Defender 110. And this one is in Indonesian Traffic Police livery, which is pretty interesting. So I think I'm only missing one of these, and I just I kind of purposely passed on, up on it, and that was the Gulf one. Maybe I'll get it down the road. I don't know. So there's that. And then... Last thing that we're going to look at today are this latest wave of mystery models. And I picked these up actually a couple weeks ago, so I don't even remember which ones I grabbed. There's, there's four of them here. One of them might be a duplicate. And they don't have, like, the list of the cars is not on the packaging. You can still tell, you know, which one you got. So this is a number one in the series, which I think is like the chase model or whatever. Um, but they don't have the list of the cars on here. So unless you have the box, I don't remember what these are. So I know one of them is, I mean, this Lambo's in there. I'm pretty sure, but whatever, we're going to find out in the next segment when we open these up, what we have inside. I think I've got one duplicate in here. So I think I only grabbed three. There's one, there's two. This one's a number three. And this one's also a number three. So I don't need one of those. So we're, we're going to look at, uh, these three. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, flip the camera around. We'll check out the surplus goodie stuff first, and then we'll move into this other stuff, and uh, stay tuned. All right, so let's start this second half, of course, by taking a look at these surplus goodies uh, exclusives, uh, Auto World diecast, of course, to, uh, square body pickups. And as you can see here, that is probably going to be our, the coolest thing about this, the new tool, Cowl Hood. So we're going to check that out. And uh, that's going to be pretty cool. So another thing, just looking at the back of this card, we want to take a peek here. So the previous ones, I think, were just Auto World or AWCollector.com and Surplus Goodies, like collabs. Um, and now they've added diecast products and more. And I don't know if Wyatt from AWCollector.com was actually... Was he involved in this one? I don't know if they went three ways on trying to get this, uh, this thing put out. I'm not really sure, but... I'm sure you can go to a either three of these places to find these. Um, surplus goodies and diecast products and more have teamed up to bring you this 75 Chevy Silverado fleet side pickup with two exclusive trucks in this series. Be sure to pick up both the rough and rusty version as well as the fully restored black and gray version. So anyway, really, really cool. You can read more about that. Um, these trucks are limited. Uh you know, you just can't say more good things about it. I love the rusty stuff. I think that's uh, that's really, really cool. And then it's just a really neat concept just to have, you know, the barn find and the uh, the restored one. Uh, so this one is the Alabama barn find. I got the other one sitting here next to me. But let's go ahead and open up these first and take a peek. So I guess the logical thing to do would be to start with the unrestored version. So let's go ahead and cut that open. And uh, 
Sorry, I did not cut these ahead of time, but I guess it makes the opening of the chase a little more dramatic, so we're going to go with that. So let's go ahead and open this up. And let's check this out. Really cool. Man, that is excellent. Okay, so it's really neat and we're going to get into this these unrestored versions here and why you know they're extra specially cool something i've noticed um in a second here but let's just take a look at this and uh, drink it all up here so of course it's the year standard fare square body pickup tooling except for of course this right here this cowl hood and this is the only time this has been released. This is a brand new tooling piece. And uh, it was, um, it's just been on this truck. It has not been on a store release of Auto World at all. Which is kind of a really neat thing to have like a new tooling part debut um, in like a hobby exclusive like this. Uh, this will set this truck apart from any of the others that have been out. And um, this is definitely going to be a desirable one. I, you know, and I can't recommend it more. If you're interested in any of the hobby exclusive, you know, square body pickup trucks, you need to grab them now. You cannot wait. These things are going to end up being expensive down the line. I just guarantee it. The popularity of this pickup truck is not going away. Um, it's going to be around for quite some time. And, you know, as more people start to collect and stuff like that, these ones that are limited like this, this one's limited to 2016 pieces. Um, they're just going to be tough to come by. They really, they really, really are. Um, so I definitely recommend you hit up surplus goodies for these now if you can. And they're really not that expensive for an exclusive release. So very, very cool. So this is your understored version. Um, get in here a little. And I definitely recommend going to Surplus Goodies for these. They're just, he's great. He does a great job, great customer service. I've talked about it several times on this channel, so you guys are aware. Um, he helps me out uh, with some channel content every once in a while, and that's pretty awesome. And regardless if, if he would, I you know I purchase things from him quite frequently as well because it's just he's a trustworthy source. So very, very cool. All right, so here is your unrestored version. And then the next we get the restored version. And let's go ahead and uh, chop the package on that one. Get that one cut open. And I do. This thing it looks way cooler in person than I thought it was going to look, this restored one. Just this gloss black is quite striking in the gray it's not like a um silver it's gray and that is just a good look for this truck very very cool I get some focus here having some troubles so you got surplus is on the uh license plate the cowl hood really sticks out a lot more on this on this version super cool we got a wheel here that's coming off the rim we'll fix that real quick man it's just cool so you know you knew when auto world you know first announced this casting that it was going to be a hit but i would have never guessed that they would be like a ton of different hobby exclusive options out there and stuff like that and people releasing this a ton and it really kind of you know, besides uh, Mio was the original one that was doing Auto World, uh, like exclusives, like hobby exclusives. There wasn't really anybody doing them it, besides MJ Toys until, um, you know, the square body casting. And now it's really opened up a lot of people to doing Auto World exclusives. And I love these square body pickups. I do hope that uh, somebody puts out a different casting, though, at some point. You know, I'm not getting sick of these. I just don't, uh, you know, it'd be nice to see Auto World, you know, put out another casting or something like that that was maybe close to this desirability where people would want to do that. Because it's got to be expensive to run these uh, exclusive cars. It's got to be. And uh, 
so you got to be able to know that you're going to sell them all and i'm sure these will definitely all sell all right so really fantastic and yep yeah, let's um let's take a look at the chase and then i really kind of want to do a little compare here so here you go here's the chase it is limited to 84 pieces worldwide this is another really cool thing the sticker is a really neat ad sadly you know the package is getting cut it open because that's i don't you know leave every anything on card here and uh we're just gonna have to go ahead and take the scissors to it and uh as much as like i still you know i open everything and i, I still kind of am hesitant when it comes to stuff like this because 84 pieces <laughs> that's not many um i could you know there's definitely you know a lot more interest in this than how many are available which drives the price of course up so let's open it let's take a look at the traits on this ultra red and Cutter open. Pull the card out. And pull the truck out. So first thing to notice right there is it has red tires and it has a white base. So there's one of your traits right there, or two of your traits rather. And they did something else cool with this. It also has. A red interior and where the gray would be on the rusty version is a dirty ultra red that's actually super cool so I really dig this chase I mean normally I don't go for the red tire stuff but these dusty red tires actually look kind of cool and um, man it's really neat so you can see some uh, pixelation in the uh, kind of like tampo action on this one. It is visible on this one. It's kind of the same as like the latest uh, Auto World exclusive uh, rust job that they did on that one. Um, it's pretty similar. Uh, if you start pulling up, you know, if you start looking at all rusty versions, and actually, you know what? I think we're going to pull this children's toy attic one too before taking a peek. I just want to see how different. The, the like rust pattern design is and that's what we're going to look at kind of next but this thing is just really cool and the ultra red i'm just so happy to have the chase so let's um real quick before we get into a comparison ish let's pop this one open just because so this is a children's toy attic you can also pick this up from surplus goodies he's got these for sale um, i'm sure he probably has the chase on his ebay as well I'm just going to be out of my league, I think. 1978 Chevy K10 pickup 4x4. 2496 CTC exclusive. Um, the artwork really stands out on this one, too. That's kind of neat, right? So, and I like this truck. I like the lifted version of it. We're going to open it up. The thing, um, I'm kind of just, I don't know. The thing I don't like about it, I guess, is why did they have to slap a golf logo on the side of it? If I'm going to be, you know, whatever, honest, I don't think that was necessary. If they would have just put out a rusty blue truck, big, lifted, rusty blue square body, that would have been fine. Um, why it needed to have the golf logo on it, I don't think really did anything for its desirability in my opinion okay like it, it just didn't really need the golf logo I don't think I think it would have been actually better without it and the other thing that kind of is weird about it is the golf logo is like painted on over the rust almost is what it like looks like it's not rusty USA license plate that's cool but uh so there's the pattern of rust on that one. So what I kind of wanted to look at then, and I don't have all the uh, weathered trucks that have come out, but either way, we're going to take a look at, so we got this one here, of course, this is the Alabama one. Uh, the Georgia one is this one here. And just to, you know, look at the set, there's the uh, unrestored. 
Here's the restored. I've shown these in a previous video. This is also surplus goodies, of course, slash AW collector. So pretty cool there. I guess you want to take a look at these three, these two together. Looks pretty good. Um, so there's the Georgia one. And then here is the Mississippi one. So, and here's what I like about these. First of all, I think they all did uh, slightly different years for the trucks. So that's pretty cool. So they have a different like front grill. Um, that's neat. This one I think has the best wheels for sure. This one always has a special place in my, my heart because it's the first of these exclusives. And I was just so stoked for when this came out. But the other thing you notice is it's not the same rust pattern or, you know, weathering pattern on all of these, which is really cool that uh, he did not use, like, the same rust pattern because it's, it's actually, you know, it's different on each one. You know, the rust is in, like, the same, like, kind of spots where you'd normally see rust on a real car, but look at how different that is. So that is really cool. So, and then the difference in the chases. We could probably do like a whole, I should have done maybe a whole video on these trucks because we really could talk about them forever. Oh, and this one too. So this is different as well. Different rust pattern. And then uh, if we look at all the chases here. Oh yeah, I suppose I didn't show the regular one. Here's the regular one from the, the first release. Really cool color. Um, and then the chases, this thing just looks amazing. So this one went with ultra red body, ultra red base. I think that was the only traits. Oh, and it also was black interior, which the, the regular ones did not have the black interior. This one just is mean looking. Took some really cool pictures of this when I originally got it. That's really cool. And then the ultra red for the second release got ultra red body underneath all the rust no color base or anything like that and then that's pretty much it because the other one had a red interior as well so it's just basically an ultra red body on this one and then of course we got the latest one which has the uh well a red interior white base red tires and then ultra red right there so so stoked to have the complete set of these and i don't know if he's coming out with another barn find or not i imagine he probably would i mean why wouldn't you if these are going to be continue to be successful why wouldn't you just keep on releasing them so this thing like i said is pretty cool too the only thing i'm kind of mm, about is that golf logo i just don't think it's necessary the chase of this i'm trying to think of what it looks like i have seen it so i think it has got white tires and like ultra red body underneath the rust i think is what it looks like if i get an opportunity to pick one up and it's not terribly expensive i may grab one i mean well i probably will because i definitely still want to i want to get as many of these as i can um it's just it's not you know 100 feasible all right well we got to move on we spent uh, 15 minutes on that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this oh the pin i forgot about the pin I'm not much of a pin collector. I'm probably just going to leave this like this. But this is pretty cool, too. An enamel pin. Alabama. So they've done Mississippi, Georgia, and Alabama. Would you do a Wisconsin barn find? You'd probably have to put, like, rust holes in the body uh, to do that. we got a lot of rust up here. But, yeah, pretty cool. All right. So, pins neat. Get that at surplusgoodies.com. Again, I'll put some links in the description. All right. So, here's that super treasure hunt. And in pictures and stuff, and at a glance, I mean, this looks just perfect, really. You can buy these uh, decals off of eBay, I think. But, yeah, look at that. She looks, she's a waffle girl. looks pretty good 
paint looks pretty much bang on. There's a little orange peel in it or whatever, but I mean, it's this is a homemade thing. You can barely see like the cutouts for the decals. And yeah, this is awesome. Thanks, thanks, man. So these customs, check them out on Instagram. This is gonna go as a placeholder here. If I ever find a regular one, you know, or a real one, I'll. I mean, I'll still keep this one, obviously, but be nice to get a real one in the collection at some point they're just too dang expensive it's like come on i can't afford that all right next is mini gt we're going to make these uh somewhat quick here maybe i don't know uh of course i could have made things faster on video here had i taken care of this packaging prior apologize about that let's go ahead and open that up and yeah, funny too, just thinking about doing a video showing all of these square bodies. <laughs> uh, John uh, Lamley made a comment on my Instagram post for these about doing that. And yeah, you know, it probably would take an entire afternoon and a lot of preparation to show them all. All the different square bodies so far that have come out. And they keep coming, so like it's... It's like, do I do the video now or do I wait till the next one comes out? You know, there's like, there's a lot. So check out this. Really cool. So I had to get a version of this with a light bar on the top. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Got all the cool things you would expect from Mini GT. Metal body, metal base, rubber tires, rollability. This one's got a trailer hitch. Um... So this is Indonesian Traffic Police. And it's pretty cool. It's a nice piece. It's great casting. They've done a lot of little weird variations that look different accessories with this one. And I think that that's uh, pretty fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, Bentley here. While... Well, you're looking at that. <clears throat> This is in St. James Red. Opening the box here. And I've got a bunch of versions of this casting. I don't know why I necessarily picked this one up because I've got like a lot of them. But yeah, it looks good in red. The black rims. Really cool. Nice Bentley. And again, this thing just rolls so smoothly. So for a premium car, you guys know, you know, if you're watching the videos, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm a big fan of Mini GT. And really, how could you not be? I mean, if you don't have a Mini GT in your collection, I would just suggest just take a look, find which one you think might be your favorite or whatever, and just pick it up. They got Lamborghinis, they got Land Rovers, they got uh, BMWs, they got Toyota Supras, they got Porsches, they got Paganis, they got uh, McLaren, um... What else? A lot of stuff. Skylines, you know. Pick them up. Pick up one. Add it to your collection. Some of you only collect Hot Wheels and stuff like that. It's totally cool, but I think you should add a couple premium pieces to your collection. And really, if you want some premium stuff, Mini GT comes in at a quite low price point compared to some of the other stuff. Definitely lower than, like, your Tomica Limited Vintage. Definitely lower than, you know, quite a few other brands. Uh, including like Tarmac Works and stuff like that. I'm not saying any of those are better or worse or whatever. Mini GT is just a little bit more up my alley. And these actually roll and stuff. They're not just display pieces. I know that doesn't matter to some of you, but it does matter to others. So cool to have this one in red. It's very, very neat. That'd be another video to go over my Mini GT collection as it sits. That might be a fun one. All right. Next, let's go through this Matchbox Retro Series. We're just having focus issues today. I film everything on my iPhone. I probably should, you know, one of these days invest in a new, um, well, maybe a new phone. <laughs> maybe an actual camera. I don't know. So this Retro Series, I'm a fan of at walmart the like i said or not walmart this is target the uh i did not pick up that express delivery it does look kind of cool or the wildfire rescue truck just was not seems like the oddball out 
doesn't really seem all that retro to me. I don't know. And this is supposed to be kind of a retro packaging. I love the packaging design. It's cool. But here's your uh, 510 Rally. In blue. Details on the top. That's kind of cool. Whatever. It's a 510. I suppose it'll be somewhat popular. I think this one's been the one that... Uh, people have been really scooping up though is this uh lambo so you got that lamborghini lm002 here's a quick look at the, the packaging in blue obviously it's not the scale but that is pretty cool you know they're just basic matchbox models but Mark here on the edge in the corner. An errant tampo. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it looks all right. And then let's see here. Matchbox Vanner, the '95 custom Chevy van. Oh, you know what? Should probably be looking out for variations because I know they do. There's different uh, base variations that the back is different. This one's got the tire and the those are jerry cans or whatever but this is kind of a cool casting let's go ahead and open that up pretty cool the main it's green I like the color scheme on it like kind of the old school kind of 70s ish whatever graphics on the side look, look pretty neat um then the national parks jeep Cherokee, this one will be popular. There are people that collect this National Parks livery. Maybe it is kind of cool. I like the color. Park Patrol. That's definitely cool. Actually, now that I think about it, as I've seen these sets pop up at uh, Target, it actually the one that's been missing most often has been the van. And it's probably on account of the the whole color scheme on it is really cool. But there you go. Park Patrol, National Parks. And then my favorite, this one here. The good old Pontiac Firebird Formula. This is a nice casting. It's been around for a while. There's quite a few different variations of it. I've got a lot of them. I might even have all of them. I don't know. It's something i got to dig into at some point because I'd like to get whatever I'm missing um, but yeah look at that guy that's good oh cool like I didn't even realize this in the packaging and sometimes you don't through that blister but this has like a a metal flake to the color to the paint and uh, that actually looks quite good so digging on that one and then last thing we're going to look at today and yes this was a nice long video for you is these mystery models i suppose we'll go in descending order from three to one and i think i think these might have been the only licensed models in the set i could be wrong but i think it was well, whatever. We're going to go from three to one. Those are the, these are the three I picked up. I could have picked up whatever ones I wanted because I've got two, like a fresh batch of them. Um, so I guess what we'll do is just, you know, here's the uh, packaging. So, yeah, my guess is they're the only ones that are really desirable, at least to me. So, as usual, you're going to get a sticker in here. So that says what uh, the vehicle is. And I guess the sticker has a delivery on the side. So Porsche came in S. And there it is. In white. Oh, it's got the number three on it, which is kind of cool. I like this casting. It's kind of a nice one. Uh, color scheme for this one looks pretty good. Wheel choice, decent. Eh, not a bad little ride. Uh, the wheels kind of stick out of the wheel well in the front, though, a little bit. But nice little mainline Porsche. Uh, let's see here. Where's number two? 
This should be the Lambo, I believe. Judging by the packaging here. And so you got the sticker that matches the color scheme. And ooh, this looks sharp. Okay. Yeah, I quite like this one. <laughs> that is cool, man. I like that color scheme. I like the wheel choice too. This actually looks really mean. Oh, I'm digging that. Pretty cool. So you got a gray base, kind of a matte black or satin black ish uh, finish. The wheels look great. This thing looks killer. I am digging that. All right, that one's really cool. I'm glad I picked up that one for sure. I like Lamborghini. You know, I collect a lot of Lamborghini diecast, whatever, but uh, sometimes they just do it right on a mainline-ish model, and I think this graphic scheme and everything just really complements this casting. So I definitely recommend that. All right, and then the numero uno. Uh... What is it? There's your uh, what's a color scheme, I guess we're going to see. And it is a Toyota Supra. As you can see there on the sticker. And looking at her. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's going to be desirable because it's a Supra, right? It's got NOS. Sniper. graphics on it. it actually looks pretty awesome so these mystery models when they do the mystery models and they do like uh like you know licensed cars or desirable castings and they usually do a really good job actually with the uh the graphic design on them i you know i just think they i don't know if they put a little bit of extra attention into them um when they do these cars but it just it looks really good uh, so this this one is no exception but i i would say <laughs> yeah that's definitely the coolest one in my book you know then the supra and then this one but all pretty decent all right so i think we looked at everything we wanted to look at today again i got a ton of stuff for next week uh and i gotta decide what i'm gonna do obviously the highlight for me is gonna be we got our cowl hood square body and just being able to to add this to the collection is just a major feat for me um and to have a full set of these barn find trucks is just well it's just fantastic so there you go here's the other ones sitting right there and yeah eventually we will do a uh a rundown you know maybe i'll do it in two videos i'll do like the auto world actual like auto world released ones and then maybe i'll do like the hobby exclusive ones uh in a separate video that probably would make more sense otherwise the video is going to be you know probably two hours long i would say I'll probably get through them in two hours with talking you know about them in somewhat a little bit of detail um that's going to be take a lot of preparation though Oh, that's thank you for your eBay purchase. Uh, surplus goodies, diecast, and more. So, of course, check them out for those those trucks and, and including the uh, the pin, too. That's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, just really neat. All right. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you again, Surplus Goodies, for providing me with the, uh, the, the two of those. Um, and, you know, I really appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.